Welcome to the Brad and Taylor Show. Today we have DJ Fairley. You're listening to the Brad and Taylor Show, a podcast that inspires entrepreneurs to pursue their passions. We're sitting down with some of the best to learn how they got started and some lessons they learned along the way. Hey, DJ. Hey, guys. How are you today? We're good. How are you doing? Doing great. Awesome. Well, let's get this show started. Tell us a little bit about you. What do you do? So, uh, live in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, uh, run a real estate team with my business partner, Matt Durbin. Uh, we have been uh, working together now for uh, actually, man, close to 20 years. So, met uh, playing college football at Gannon University in PA and uh, had a mortgage company <clears throat> back in the day uh, in South Florida. And then uh, after the 08 crash, I took a little bit of a, a break, did uh, some technology sales. Matt kind of stayed in real estate and we got the band back together about four years ago, uh, moved back from Florida to Pennsylvania, and now we're just humming along here. Nice. Awesome. I like it. So when you, uh, um, how did you get started in real estate? Um, so I was um, always intrigued by, my father was uh, in mortgages. So just around being around mortgages and real estate, he had a lot of rental properties. So as a kid, just, you know, thought it was pretty fascinating how many different avenues um, you could do well in real estate. And uh, the mortgage side was my first passion. Um, and from there, I was just always involved in the real estate side and just talking to agents every day. So uh, as I got older, it was just uh, kind of a nice shift where I kind of fell more in love with the real estate agent side of things versus the mortgage side of things. So Nice. So from a young age, you kind of already knew this is what you were going to do. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah. It took it in my father's footsteps. That's pretty rare. I know most people, when we ask that question to everybody, did you know you wanted to be a real estate agent when you grew up? Everyone says, heck no. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. That's awesome though. Following in the footsteps. Is he still doing mortgages right now? Say it again. Is he still doing mortgages right now? He is not. He's retired. So he actually moved down to to sunny Florida as well. I made the jump back to Pittsburgh. He's down there. And now it's a lot of golf, a little bit of swimming, but a lot of golf. (laughs) Nice. <laughs> that yeah. leaves you a good vacation spot though right so That's when it's exactly it, right you can head south <laughs> you got it and this time of the year we're getting into we're fall now where weather's not yep. bad but soon enough i'm it's pretty <laughs> weird it gets snow any day so yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. funny. so did you have any advice maybe that your dad or anybody gave you around um when you first got into real estate that just had stuck with you throughout the years yeah, and it's funny you say that. Yes, but I didn't really follow it. I think as a young kid is just really just okay. be, just be consistent, right? I mean, it's uh, yeah. it's one of those businesses where it can be challenging if you're not consistent, right? And and he just always said, you know, you're you're the more you talk to people and have real estate conversations, that's going to be your success, right? And I, and I think I'm 41 and I I still cold call quite a bit, and um, not that it's the greatest thing in the world, but it's very effective. So. You know, now I know there's a lot of social media, different ways to attract people, but I still love just meeting people, talking in person or talking on the phone. So that the consistency um, has really stuck with me and he was definitely right. Yeah. yeah. So you're talking about the cold calling. It's not always the best and the, or not always the most funnest. What's your favorite way to market? Believe it or not, it's that. It's kind of, a, I have a love-hate <laughs> relationship with that. And, and I'll say, and, and the reason is I've done it so long that I am good at it and you know, I, I know the numbers kind of up, down, backwards, forward. So, you know, I know if I'm on the phone for three hours, if I if I contact 20 people, I'm, I'm typically one for 20 on setting an appointment. And then from there, you know, typically I'm kind of nine out of 10 on getting the listing. So it's still a lot of expired FISBOs, but we are growing um, our sphere. So I'd say that is definitely a more fun way to get businesses, you know, referral from sphere and our sphere network. So that's exciting. And that part's been growing really well for us. But yeah, I'm still a guy on the phones. I, it, it, you know, like I said, it's not always fun, but it's effective. So, and it's predictable also. Yep. Well, do you do social media too? I do. I got to get better at it because I'm, I'm kind of, I, and the reason I said, you know, I'll, I'll post a house. I have a little boys three and then kind of like anything inspirational workout related. So I'm kind of like those three items. So I'm trying to get better at that. And I got to get more in video. Like I can, I can talk to people. I'm not nervous, but when it comes to holding that phone and videoing myself, I don't know what it is. I get like, Yep. I clam up. <laughs> so always looking yeah, to improve on that. Post this one. It'll be your first one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I like it. I like it. What well, is one of the worst properties you've been to or showings in, since you uh, uh, been in real estate? Uh, I, I, the, one of, the one that sticks out in my head, I, I showed a property in the middle of winter during a snowstorm that had such a large hole in the roof. It was literally snowing on us. 
<laughs> so when we wow. when we got to the attic, it was like a a larger like you could stand and walk around. It it could be finished and be nice, but the, the size of the hole in the roof, like it was just dumping snow on top of us. So that was wow. that was a fun one. <laughs> wow! Did that one end up selling? Did you sell that one? Yeah, an investor bought yeah. it. So oh. for you know for an investor, those are kind of sometimes you know worst property, best neighborhood. It turned out to be a good one for him, and turned out beautiful after he remodeled it. So nice. nice. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Were you able to see the after photos of it? Yeah, like, it was gorgeous. No snow in there. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, but it was beautiful. I mean, they 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 gutted everything. No snow. And yeah. <laughs> no snow. <laughs> New roof and nice house for somebody. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. If you could start over today, is there anything that you would do differently? Yeah, actually, um, focus really hard on growing our database earlier. So like one thing that stuck out in my mind, uh, I follow a lot of, you know, successful agents and Ricky Caruth um, out of Florida. He just, there's one thing he does and it's just remarkable. He, he's, um, he has a newsletter he does every week and he's grown his database, I think almost 20,000 now. And having that database, just the amount of business he gets just from the database. So I, you know, this goes back to consistency also. That yeah. one little thing has just exponentially grown his business. So I, yeah, I think that's one thing that, as agents, we're always chasing the next deal sometimes. And we, we forget about, again, just if you grow it slowly every day, it, it turns into something amazing over time. So just being more consistent early on. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any recommendations for anybody who's trying to grow their database? Yeah. So I would say just for everybody you talk to, make sure you have a good email and a um, phone number, and then make sure what you send them is something of value. You know, still for our current clients, what we still send is, for any potential seller, we always do like market updates around the neighborhood, like seller reports yeah. uh, monthly. They, they do like that. They, you know, everyone's still with their neighbors selling for the area. And um, we, we like to do it. We're, we're trying this year with COVID kind of slowed it down, but, you know, at least having one good event, you know, I, I think events are great. Kid friendly too. Yeah. Just every, you know, come bring friends, family, et cetera. I think just those type of things are, are awesome. Yeah. Good way to network. Good way to build those relationships with maybe people you don't typically talk to. I know you, you make the phone calls, but maybe some other people don't do that necessarily as much. So <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's, it, it's a die. I'm like a dying breed. I don't think <laughs> uh, calling Fizzos and expires will probably expire one day. I it probably won't, you know, my, I think about, you know, my little three-year-old, like, hey, what did dad do? He actually, this is kind of funny. He doesn't have a real job because he thinks only construction workers are actually worker. He goes to worker men and he's like, my dad doesn't work. He just talks on the phone all day. I'm like, well, <laughs> <laughs> kind of a job. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's funny. So tell us, um, like future wise, like, tell us more about your team. Yeah. So we, um, we have a team of 15 on our, uh, under, you know, Matt and I right now, which is awesome. And we really are truly a family. So we, we pride ourselves in the culture that we've grown like-minded individuals and then uh us being we we actually made the shift to exp a few years ago so that the business model is pretty cool because now we have a lot of partner agents um they're not directly in our team but we have just really great collaboration the partner agents share um you know we we have a lot of training so some are great at social media or here's what i'm doing here like you said different marketing so that aspect of it i love just more collaboration just giving back and then i feel like it just comes back tenfold so so yeah. yeah. Awesome. Before we go today, how can people get a hold of you? So my phone number is 412-335-8944. And email is DJ at Matt Durbin, D-U-R-B-I-N, the word team.com. Awesome. I like it. Hey, thanks for coming on and sharing a story with us today. Yeah, absolutely. Are these working? All right. Is there... There we go. Oh, there we go. I think they're working. Should we tell them? Uh, Mine keeps falling. It doesn't like my voice. What do we got to tell them? Subscribe. Subscribe? What do we, do we got to point out? Hey, I think there's a subscription button like. It might be, it might be there. It might be right there too. Somewhere. Somewhere. Find it. It's red. Yeah. And red. it's blue. It's green. I don't really know. It's, it's a color. This mic isn't even attached. Did you plug these in? Well, I guess so. Uh, I wonder if they can hear us. Yeah, I wonder if they hear us. Well, we should probably tell them if, if they can hear us. We should probably tell them also give us a five star review for listening to on Apple. That'd be cool. Five, five star stars, review. guys. Share it with everybody they can think of. We won't take but, four stars. I mean, I don't even think these are on. I mean, this no, is, I don't think this is working. This is not working. <laughs>